I'm a moron, that's the pedestal. Okay, I guess we're gonna wait for a full day by this pedestal. Do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games! Is that it? That's it? Okay. Hi. Welcome back. Um, okay, I'm a moron, see? I thought that pillar was the pedestal the whole time, and it's not. And so I watched it for a day, and it never lit up. And then this thing just lit up, because this is obviously the pedestal. Now, I've had, you know, two days to think about it, so I think when it says cold shadow, what it in fact wants me to do is... Okay, no, I'm casting my own shadow on it, and I'm, it is not, it is not moved. Okay, okay, I, don't worry, I got backup ideas. Casting cold shadows, right? So there are cold things. This is a cold thing. Maybe if I use this to cast a cold shadow on... Hey, hey, hey. Did it. All right. Yeah, I, it occurred to me that I was, you know, it, it, it clearly says casting a shadow. And <laughs> I was like, casting, that's a double meaning. I can use the st ice rod, but no, that has nothing to do with shadows. There, there was nothing there, so... Yeah, if I figured it out eventually. I got it. I did it. Hooray. Let's get this thing out of here. And see what we got. Incidentally, those snowballs are pretty cool. Like, you can roll them. If you put them down, they'll just sort of gently roll down whatever peak is nearby and get bigger <laughs> eventually you can't even pick them up anymore also if you have a fire weapon equipped and you stand next to one it just sort of melts which actually took me a minute i thought it was happening because of the uh, sun because it was the middle of the day when it was happening but no it's fire weapons it's neat interactions i thought anyway let's uh see what's inside this shrine shall we it may just be a box it may just be i completed the trial already that sort of thing Indeed I did. Sumasama. Nice name. Sumasama. What we got here? A scimitar. Well, conveniently, my weapon's about to break, so off it goes. Good times. Give me that scimitar. That's quite useful. Given that my backup weapon is essentially a stick. <laughs> All right. Give me that orby thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's odd that I can't skip that part. I can skip everything else, but not that. Gotta watch the... I mean, it's neat. Clearly somebody spent a decent amount of time on that animation. It is neat. I can respect that. But it's also the only thing I can't skip, which is strange. Oh, right. <laughs> Ingredients will cook simply by placing them on the ground in volcanic regions. That's amazing. So as long as you're fireproof, you can just sort of cook food on the sidewalk. Neat. Sidewalk being kind of a figure speech here, given that there is no sidewalk, clearly. Okay, so I guess that's it for up here. You know, I'm still disappointed. It, the person who was eating all that melon clearly said that she wants wild berries from the snowy peaks of the Gerudo Highlands, which is where I am. Unless I'm supposed to go over to this region, but the map doesn't even let me scroll down that far, so I feel like that's the edge of the world. At any rate, so check this thing out. What do you think that is? I don't know, but I'm gonna go find out. At least have a look at it. Ooh. Ooh. That's sinister as heck looking, isn't it? What could possibly go wrong if I just drift my way down in there, huh? Nothing could go wrong. Nothing. Looks like there's a shrine underneath it, maybe. You can see that glow kind of blipping in and out. Apparently it's a little too far away for <laughs> processing. What is this thing? Like, it's neat. South Lome Labyrinth. Okay. 
Well, it doesn't look so much like a labyrinth as it does just like a pattern, because there's not really a path through it, is there? Oh, there is a shrine underneath it. Strange. Very strange. I wonder what... What's the deal? Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, what? To you who sets foot here, my blessings awaits you at the labyrinth's end. Labyrinth's end. Okay. Neat, I guess. Uh, sure, let's... That's, that's gotta be the... So the trial is the labyrinth. Alright. Sure, you know what? Hit me. If I can't manage it, I will teleport away. Um, well, this is a promising start. Okay, so I guess I just have to sort of run around on the ground floor of this place, and that's why it's a labyrinth. Just a second, I'm going to put on something a little bit more appropriate to task. Um, well, let's use these. I went ahead and bought, like, the entire stock of the uh, jewelry store. And these earrings, amber earrings, it turns out they do have a function. They're just as well armored as that hood I keep wearing around. Which is kind of neat. Okay. I suppose it's going to get cold soon, but... Well, no, Labyrinth seems to be pretty temperature stable. So that's neat. Um... Oh. I see how it is, okay. Well, the music here is neat. And I can hear hostile things rumbling about. Let's be careful about this. Hmm. Well, that looks like a door, doesn't it? It sure does. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Like I say, I like the music, but man, it's tense. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh here we go. That's Ganon goo, that is. I don't like me no Ganon goo. I gotta stop talking so much. I keep hearing things in the like around the corners in the walls, and but I'm talking so much that I can't actually. Oops. Can I climb that actually? I can. For whatever that's worth. No, no, no. Stop it, Link. We just need to go inside. I think. Okay. There's another door. Nope. 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 None of that. So eager to jump the walls. Climb the walls, rather. Okay. I swear I'm gonna run into something, like, face first, and it's gonna freak me out, but I'm trying to be careful. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. It's all empty. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, is there anything... up there? No, it's just a, sh just a straight shaft. Okay. Uh oh, don't get disoriented. Don't get disoriented. Okay. Um. Oh, now that's an enemy. But it's on the other side of the wall, so I don't know why it's, uh, somehow threatening me. Maybe it heard me or something? Oh, no. <laughs> I said, don't get disoriented. That's the opposite of what you did. Okay, I think this is the way out. Come on, be the way out. Okay, there's the, there's the Ganon goo. Let's get a closer look at the Ganon goo. Don't step on it, though. Okay. And then here's the stairwell out of this particular section. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, let's let's keep going this way. I don't. Okay. Oh, so that's that's the music. That I thought it was like Stalfus bones rattling against each other, but no, it's the music. Okay, that's fine. Man, this is a pretty substantially sized maze, isn't it? Okay, now that that's a Stalfos creature. No mistaking that. Eh, nope, none of that. None of that. I'll take your thing. Oh, I can't. Well, let's get rid of that spear I was complaining about earlier, then, shall we? Off you go! Great. Much better. Much better! Okay. I will switch back to the scimitar for now. Okay, there's another door. I suppose one of the doors just has to have, uh... Oh. Man, a bunch of little guys around here, huh? 
It's a popular place for skeletons. Well, sorry to be invading then, but uh, I sort of need your stuff, so yeah. Between that and the spear, this is clearly better. Dragonbone stuff does not mess around. What is that? So it looks like a dead bokoblin. Or, you know, the skeleton thereof. Ugh. More goo. Okay. Let's try the door down here. I'm guessing that one of these passageways will lead to some kind of an underground passage, which will then go to the shrine. So it's just a matter of poking around until I find it, huh? Rote persistence, huh? Well, I mean, I can do... Oh, this is different. Okay, that's different. Perhaps there's a way to open that around here somewhere. Uh... Oof. Oof. Mazes, they're... Amazing! No, I mean, they're... they're they are by nature confusing, and, uh... Hey, a box. What's in, what's in this? Money! Okay, cool, so I'm going the wrong way, is that what you're saying? This is a bonus... bonus route? Fine. Fine, you be that way. Okay, I'm on the other side of the goop now, so what's over here? Uh... Hmm, there's a drop-off. Okay. Okay, got more goo. Oh, did I make it inside? What's that? That's a golden bow. So if I wanted it, I could climb up there and get it, but... Just a second, I'm gonna make sure that's what it is, what I think it is. Yeah, sure is. I don't need a golden bow, so we're fine. Um, hmm. Oh, there is Ganon goo all over in here. Gross, man. Ah, okay. And that's a, that's a barrier. A barrier that will hurt me if I touch it. Okay, well, let's see if we can work our way into this room. Okay, this is better. This is better. Uh, hmm. Okay, stairs upward. Stairs upward as well. That's a drop-off. Don't fall for it. Double meaning. Ah. That's that that's that thing I can't get past. Okay. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the right way. Stairs up. Wait, is this the same grading that I saw earlier? I don't think so. I think this has gotta be different. No. This is starting to feel backtracky. Um, no, this is this is a complete dead end. This is that's what this is. Does this passage have a hole looking up like the others? It does. Oh man. You know, I took it lightly at first, looking at the the top surface. I was like, ah, that's not much of a labyrinth. But you know what? This is actually pretty disorienting, because <laughs> um, everything looks exactly the same as everything else. That's different. That's different. Okay, I'm gonna go the different way. There are pillars here. And a drop-off. Alright, I'm not prepared to actually commit to that just yet, because I don't think I can get back out. So let's che just check this way first. Make sure there's nothing I missed. This might just be on the other side of that goo gate. It is, and there's a chest. See, I knew there was something. What we got? Scimitar with long throw. Long throw? Apparently that's a thing, long throw. Um, do I have a weapon I can drop? Seriously though. Uh, I'm tempted to drop Kilton's hammer. Like, I like the principle. I, I really, really do like the principle, but it just doesn't do that much, yeah? I feel terrible for dropping that thing. Hmm. But, I mean, what else am I going to get rid of? All this stuff is so useful. Ugh, okay. Okay, I'm so sorry, Spring-Loaded Hammer. I'll get another one someday, I promise. Well, I guess I don't promise. I shouldn't promise things like that, because, I mean, I might not. They're only of limited utility, right? Okay, so I've never seen these pillars before. So I'm going to go ahead and... What is that? Is that one of those Gerudo longswords? It's a golden claymore. 
So, in other words, yes, it is. Oh, shoot. Just a second. It'll be alright, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Gross, 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 gross. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's terrible. Bleh, bleh. Ugh, okay. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> well, that hurt, but I don't think there's another way to get it, was there? Probably not. Okay, where's the generic cooked food? Yeah, like that, for example. Eat that. Eat that. Perfect. All right. So I got myself a claymore. It's kind of neat looking, yeah? I've never had one of those before, but uh, Bouliar is carrying one of these. I was poking around with my camera earlier, and I happened to notice that. But you can take pictures of other people's weapons while they're just standing there, so that's kind of neat. I hope I wasn't supposed to wade through the rest of that goop. Because, you know, going halfway through and then turning around does seem a little silly in retrospect. Okay. What's in here? This is seeming like the center of the thing. Am I correct? No, there's a box. In which is more money. Okay, money's good. But not what I'm looking for. Okay, so I came in from the other side, so let's go this way. Oh, this is a circle. <laughs> Did I just reach the end of this particular path I was on? Oh dear. Oh dearie me. I looks like I did. Eh, blech. Okay. Uh oh, there's upper tiers to this place. I haven't been keeping my eyes up off the ground. That could be bad. Wait, this is different. Oh! Hey! Apparently I made it. Okay, well, real quick, real quick, like, no, there's not actually anything over there. Never mind, not checking anything out. Let's get in the hole. Yeah! Yeah! Dilamog! Do you keep a chest behind? Nope. Sometimes they do. You never know. These people are sneaky. These old, old, frozen people. All right, Dilamog, what you got for me? Whoops. Dropped a thing. Don't worry about it. I was a little worried about it. I got the thing. <laughs> it was my phone. Whoops. Um, okay. Let's see. Alright, because I, I completed the trial already. I get the box, I get the thing. That's how it works. What we got? A weapon, right? Barbarian armor. Ooh. Attack power raising armor. Don't mind if I dwa. Gotta figure out how to upgrade that business post haste. Wonder where I can get the rest of that particular set. That seems like a priority, but you know, of course, there's not gonna be a way for me to find that out aside from exploration, so. Oh well. Alright, skip him turning into green, green dust. I forgot. Okay. So, we found a shrine, which was not entirely unexpected, given the appearance of that thing. That labyrinth, that is. Oh, is this a... is this a shortcut out? Cool, so I can actually shortcut out now. Oh, right, because the grating above it is gone. Okay. Sure, you know what? Sounds good. Yeah, that's where the grating was. Cool. All right. Well, I got some money and I got some nice weapons. And there might be more stuff in there, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Also, I like the music here. Really, I do. All right. Looks like it's just about morning. Oof. Look at this place. Little bit of a mess, huh? Okay. So I need... What do I need? I need berries... And I need to figure out that thing with the 8th hero. Okay, you know what? That's that's what we're doing next. Provided this canyon doesn't... It looks like this canyon just sort of goes around. What's that? Who knows? Okay, Champion's Gate. Maybe I should check out the Champion's Gate while I'm here? It seems relevant, given that I am... 
No, am I a champion? No. Maybe I am a champion, but, but there were the four champions, right? I'm... I was basically a bodyguard. They were the champions. They don't refer to me as a champion. Either way, there's a gate over there. I think it probably has something to do with Urbosa. So let's... Okay, hi. Hello, sir. Cool. Got him in the face. Oh, he's got a lot of hit points. Yeah, hi. Is this one of the fire breathers? Is that what we're dealing with here? What are you? What are you? Oh, it's a black Lizalfos. Wow, that's a great action shot. Good. Good job, Link. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just, uh... Dodge thing. You know, you, if you try aiming a little better, maybe I could actually dodge it instead of just flipping about. There we go. One, two, three, four. And a little more for you. Okay. Okay. And let's just finish you off with that. Boop. That'll do it. That will do it. Well, they just drop a standard green Lizalfo's tail? That's a little weird. But I guess they don't have any crazy elemental powers, so that'll be your reasoning, huh? Okay. I hope the gate doesn't just lead me to the labyrinth I just dropped into from above. I'm starting to feel like that might be what the deal is. I haven't snuck up on a guy in a little while. Let's sneak up on this guy. Wait, is that just a blue Lizalfos? Oh, it is. I took you too seriously, didn't I? Okay. Yes, yes. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Big leap. Big leap. And a little of that. And a little bit of... Whoops. Good dodge. Good dodge, sir. Whoops. Maybe use your Z-targeting. That sometimes helps. Yep. And you're done. You're done. There. That should do ya. That should do ya. Okay. And that was just what? Like another Moblin Spear? Yep. Cool. Alright, let's work our way up to the Champion's Gate real quick here. Yes, there was a rock back there, but I don't think it was anything in particular. Could have been a Korok, but they usually choose better locations for their oddly placed stones. They're usually on top of things, like the highest structure in the area. So you actually have to work to get up to it, you know? Okay, well, this is a pretty straightforward one, isn't it? Grab the box. <laughs> Drag it through the crate somehow. Good trick. Well done. And there we go. I did it. I sure did. 67 now. I found- I did find a couple off camera. I hope that's okay with everyone. The, the Koroks, I figure, are pretty much fair game because, man, there's only so many variations on the theme. And, ooh, what is that? This is the Champion's Gate, okay. Gate to what? Because this is definitely not the way into the labyrinth. There's... Let's check out that thing. Okay, it's got three bats underneath it. Let's just skip it. Ha ha! So where does this lead? Some place for champions, apparently. Mm, hiding Lizalfos. It is a blue one. I wonder if I can sneak up on him. I mean, he's being sneaky right now, so he's probably pretty attentive to his surroundings. Yep, oh, he sees me. Yeah, hi. Yeah, okay. It was worth a shot, you gotta admit. Oh, apparently you had time to get your shield up. Well done. Well done. Impressive, sir. There you go. Cut your butt off. This weapon. Now, I'm gonna jinx it by saying this, but I appreciate how durable it has been so far. Okay, this is absolutely the route to the South Lome Labyrinth. And now I just feel like a punk. Okay, so we're going back to the East Karuna Ruins. I'm gonna check out that pillar nearby to there and see if it has anything to do with the 8th Heroine. Because I'm pretty low on ideas with the 8th Heroine, and if you look at the quest text, all it says is that there's somebody in town who's familiar with the legend, which suggests to me, because, because I, I went and talked to her again, and she has no more information for you after you have completed this particular shrine here. In fact, she just basically came back here, saw the shrine, and was like, Oh man, I'm being tested! If I pass, it's like, I'm being tested by the gods! And I was just like, hey, good for you. I'm not gonna ruin your dreams. 
Oh yeah, maybe to put on your circlet. Um, so, suggests to me that oof, the reason it points you at her in the quest text is because you need to come here and figure out what's the deal with the eighth... the eighth heroine. Which would be, hang on. What's this chunk of rock here? Um, that does seem similar to the patterns that I've seen on the... Oh no, it's just this pattern that's on the wall. Never mind. I thought for a second that that was a chunk of the eighth heroine, but uh, no indeed. Because if I recall correctly, all I need to do is get a photo photograph of the torso of the eighth heroine. And that is what creepy guy wants from me to get his sand shoes. Okay, so apparently this pillar is one of many, and not special. I guess I should have known that, given that this is not by any means the first of these that I've seen around here. But, I didn't. My bad. Let's, uh, at least get a look around the area from up here, huh? Oh, hey, cool. I got a dollar! Woo! Okay. So there's the seven. There is no eighth. Like, straight up, clearly, there is no eighth. Oh, well, that's a Korok. Um. Shoot. Okay, let's look at that quest text one more time. No, no, not, not this. Uh, the eighth heroine. Worshipped by her faithful in the Gerudo Highlands. Get the torso picture of the torso. Huh. Well, let's go over here, shall we? I feel like it's got to be in this area somewhere, right? Because the seven are clearly arrayed around it. And maybe the eighth is disgraced in some fashion. I don't even know what what it represented. You know, the, the scholar listed off the virtues or traits or whatever that the seven represent, but didn't mention anything about the eighth. So far as I remember. I could be wrong, I suppose. Let me just give that guardian a nice little berth here, because I don't want to mess with him, just in case he activates. Although I feel like he would have if he was going to. I wasn't that far away. That is... Speaking of which, that looked like a guardian, didn't it? It is! Cool. Super cool. Alright. Got that. Hmm. Could climb another one of these spires, I suppose, but I don't know how much good that's going to do me. Oh, it's right there! Okay, okay. So, that guardian is patrolling the area. Perhaps he's guarding whatever this is over here? Oh, this is always a nervous business. Gotta get up here. Gotta get it. Well, it's it's not like being high up is going to hide me from a guardian. They have remarkable ability to spot me. Recently, I was on top of a plateau at the like the the pinnacle of a plateau, looking straight down at a guardian patrolling below me, and he took pot shots at me. He was like, "Hey, look, there's a little guy way up there. It's that guy I'm hunting. Gonna shoot him with lasers. They're very good at their job." Gotta hand that to him. It's so difficult to be patient about climbing when you know there's a guardian underneath you. It doesn't help that I've lost sight of said guardian. That sounds like it might be him. It is. Ah, hello. Thank you for not looking up here. Okay, what am I accomplishing by scaling this? Is there anything to see... Up top. It sure doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. Just generic Gerudo Highlands, as far as the eye can see. Shoot. I'm kind of stumped on this one. Kind of a little bit stumped, because... Hmm. 
If it's not in this particular area, and the scholar doesn't know anything about it, and the quest text doesn't give me any information, then what exactly am I to do? Okay. Well, this seems to have been a bust. Sad to say. What's that? It's just a. It's just a. It's just a flower. Keep going. Don't attract the attention of the guardian. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's explore this possibility of it having been in the position it would be in if it was in this ring. If it was right there, then perhaps it was knocked over that direction. I don't know. Admittedly, it says that the worshippers gather in the Gerudo Highlands, and that is not where I am. I don't think, anyway. I feel like this is just a desert. On account of it being a desert. Huh. Perhaps I'm wasting time. Oh, and it's running on sand is so bad. Okay. Okay. Well, at least let's head over and get that Korok. And then I'll come up with something else to do, because... Or at least someone else to talk to. Because this ain't working. Also, incidentally, giant rib cages over there. Like, I've seen them before. I failed to comment them on them earlier, but what the heck? I mean, yeah, those... Those, um, Moldugas are big, but they're not that big. What is that exactly? I ask you, what is that exactly? Okay, well, I need a magnetic stone to put into, to slot into this thing, that's for sure. Without a magnetic stone, this cannot be, up oh, there it is. There you are. Can I... Oh, are you gonna make me do it this way? Okay, sure. You know what? Fine. Fine. You know what? Got it. There. I did it. Sort of. Now hopefully it's still up there. Indeed it is. Great. And in you go. I mean... In you go. Come. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get it. Come on. Oh, this is just... Come on. Come on. Clearly I have it figured. Isn't this good enough? Get... Get in the... Okay. Okay. Just line it up properly. No. No. Just a little more. A little more. Oh, this is dumb. This is so dumb. Okay, let's try from the other side. Maybe it just has to go in from the other side. And that's why this is being silly. Yes? Yes? Okay. I don't know if that was actually the case, but it worked. Fine. Great. Cool. Well, I set out with high aspirations today, and mostly wound up getting Koroks. And shrines, I guess. That's the one that Pocky's collapsed against, right? Right. Okay. So... I'm gonna try and look into this 8th heroine thing a little bit more thoroughly, but for right now, I think what it's the next course of action this will be for next time, incidentally. I, I realize we've hit the time limit. Um, next time, I think I'm going to head back to Gerudo Town. I'm going to get a um, noble pursuit and bring it out to Pocky. And then... Is that the... What is that? Southern Oasis? And check out Southern Oasis, probably. Dragon's Exile. Dragon... Oh, maybe these are actually skeletons from just big old Muldugas. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get a noble's pursuit. We'll bring it to Paki. We'll do that shrine. We'll check out the southern Gerudo Desert, because it seems like I'll probably have to check it out sooner or later if I want that lightning helm. And then, hopefully knock out the 8th heroine business. <laughs> I promise I'll get to it eventually. So thank you for watching. Oh, look at the birds. Wait, are you implying there are seasons? They're flying... Southwest. But those ones are going north. Okay, so they're doing whatever they want. Anyway, th <laughs> thank you for watching. And next time, 
We'll see if we can't get some good business done, yeah? I mean, isn't that the goal every day? Yeah, pretty much. All right, I'll see you then. <laughs>